Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is effective feature engineering technique for heart disease prediction with machine learning. Introduction of the project. Heart failure is a widespread chronic illness that affects millions of people globally, making it a significant health concern that impacts individuals and communities. Unfortunately, traditional methods for detecting heart problems often lack accuracy and that may miss the early symptoms of heart failure, potentially leading to delayed treatment and sometimes they rely on subjective assessments. To tackle these challenges, this project aims to improve the detection of heart failure using machine learning techniques. Machine learning plays a crucial role in this project by enabling the development of a predictive models that can analyze patient health parameter data. The dataset used in this project contains patient health parameters related to heart disease. Objective of the project The primary objective is to enhance the early detection of heart disease by employing effective feature engineering and machine learning techniques aiming to reduce the burden of heart disease on patients and healthcare systems. The project aims to utilize a diverse range of machine learning algorithms including logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, SVM, KNN, MLP, naive base, exeboost, gradient boosting and stacking classifier to provide a comprehensive and accurate approach to heart disease prediction. In addition to machine learning algorithms, the project aims to apply feature engineering techniques like RFE, CV and PCA to select essential features improving the efficiency and interpretability of the models. Ensemble methods such as stacking classifier will be employed to further enhance prediction accuracy. The FLASK framework integration serves the objective of creating a user-friendly interface that simplifies user interaction, allowing individuals to input their health data for prediction. It also ensures secure data handling and confidential display of results. Requirements of the project are hardware and software. Coming to hardware requirements, we need operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Coming to software requirements, we need Anaconda 3 and Visual Studio Community version. To implement the project, we have designed various steps in the flow of work. The first step is importing the packages. This step involves importing necessary Python libraries and packages that will be used throughout the project. We have imported NumPy for numerical operations, Pandas for data manipulation, Matplotlib and Seaborn for visualizations, and Scikit-learn for machine learning. Exploring the dataset. This phase involves obtaining and understanding the dataset related to heart disease. It is essential to examine the data structure, columns, and initial statistics to gain insights into what information is available. Data processing. The dataset is converted into Pandas DataFrame, a popular data manipulation tool in Python. Data cleaning includes tasks like handling missing values, removing duplicates, and ensuring data consistency. It is crucial to prepare data for analysis. Visualization using C1 and Matplotlib. Data visualization is performed to gain a visual understanding of the dataset. C1 and Matplotlib are Python libraries that are used to create various plots and charts that reveal patterns and relationships in the data. Feature selection. RFEC, which is Recursive Feature Elimination with Cross-Validation This technique automatically selects the most relevant features from the dataset to improve model performance. PCA which is Principal Component Analysis It is used to reduce dimensionality of the data by creating new features which are principal components while retaining the most critical information. Appending the feature column to X and target to Y The data is divided into two parts, feature as X and the target variable as Y. Features contain the input data used to make predictions while target variable represents the desired prediction outcome. Splitting the data into train and test. The dataset is divided into two subsets, a training set and a testing set. The training set is used to train machine learning models while testing set is used to evaluate their performance. Building the model with hypoparameter tuning and k-fold cross-validation. Several machine learning algorithms are employed including logistic regression, decision trees and etc. These models are trained and fine-tuned with the hyperparameters. K-fold cross-validation is used to assess the model's performance and ensure they generalize well to unseen data. We have used the algorithms which are logistic regression. It is a statistical model used for binary classification. It models the probability of a binary outcome based on one or more predictor variables. Decision tree. It is a supervised machine learning algorithm that is used for both classification and regression tasks. 
it creates a tree like model of decisions and their possible consequences random forest it is an ensemble learning method that combines multiple decision trees to improve prediction accuracy and reduce overfitting svm which is support vector machine it is a powerful supervised machine learning algorithm used for both classification and regression tasks it finds the hyperplane that best separates data into different classes while maximizing the margin between them KNN which is key nearest neighbor it is a simple instance based machine learning algorithm used for classification and regression it makes predictions based on the majority class of its key nearest neighbor in feature space MLP which is multi layer perceptron it is a type of artificial neural network consisting of multiple layers of interconnected neurons it can be used for various tasks including classification and regression naive base it is a probabilistic machine learning algorithm based on bayes theorem it commonly used for classification tasks exe boost extreme gradient boosting it is an optimized gradient boosting machine learning algorithm known for its speed and performance it is used for classification and regression tasks gradient boosting it is an ensemble learning technique that builds multiple decision trees sequentially with each tree correcting the errors of the preceder training the model here we train all the algorithms for the data set as an extension we apply ensemble methods which is a stacking classifier which combines the predictions of multiple individual models to produce a more robust and accurate result and it is used final prediction and we built front end using flash framework for user testing with user authentication flash framework with sqlite for sign up and sign in flash a web framework for python it is used to create a user interface sqlite is employed for user authentication and data storage user gives input as features user input their health parameter data through web interface the given input is pre processed for prediction The input is pre-processed to ensure it matches the format expected by the trained machine learning models. Trained models is used for prediction. The pre-processed input data is fed into the trained machine learning models to make predictions related to heart disease. Final outcome is displayed through front-end. The predictions are displayed on the user interface allowing users to access the results and make informed decisions regarding their health. Accuracy comparison graph Accuracy is the proportion of correct predictions in the classification task measuring the overall correctness of a model's predictions. This is the horizontal bar graph where x axis represents accuracy scores of each algorithm and y axis represents algorithm names. Among all the algorithms we can understand that stacking classifier is performing well. Precision comparison graph. Precision is the ratio of true positive predictions to the total positive predictions representing models ability to correctly identify relevant instances while minimizing false positives. Here we have on x axis precision score of each algorithm and on the y axis we have algorithm names. Recall comparison graph. Recall is also known as sensitivity or true positive rate. It is the ratio of true positives to the total actual positives measuring a model's ability to capture all relevant instances. Here on x axis we have recall score of each algorithm and on y axis we have algorithm names f1 score comparison graph f1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall offering a balanced measure that considers both false positives and false negatives making it suitable for imbalanced data set here on x axis we have f1 score of each algorithm and on y axis we have algorithm names to execute the project first we need to open the code folder which contains source code files This is the code folder of the project. This is the static folder. It consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap files. This is the templates folder. It contains all HTML pages used throughout the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html etc which represent different pages of the website. This is the app.py file. This file contains information related to front end logic. It includes code written in Python. that handles server side operations such as processing user request interacting with the database and generating dynamic content that to be rendered in html templates this is the model file which contain algorithm information and that will be loaded into project code during run time this is the notebook.ipynb file it is a jupyter notebook file which contain a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it popular choice for the data science This is the sign up file. This file is the database file used to store the user information. Now we will copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. 
So I'm copying the path and now we need to open the anaconda prompt. Using the cd command followed by the space we need to paste the copied path and then click on enter. So the current directory has changed to the code folders path. Here we need to type python space app.py. This will compile app.py file. This command will execute the python script and perform a runtime errors. Runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. Now we need to click on enter. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, which is the localhost and the port. This is the localhost and this is the port. Now we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any browser. So I'm copying this link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. So here we'll paste the link and then click on enter. This is the web page of the project, which is displayed in the browser. And this web page is built by using the Flask framework. So here first we need to click on sign up and enter all the sign up details if you are signing up newly. I have already signed up so I will directly click on sign in. Here we need to enter our credentials which are the username and the password. And now we need to click on sign in. We have signed in successfully. So here we can see that we need to enter all the details of the patient and then click on predict. Based on the given parameters it will be predicted whether the patient has disease or not. So now let us understand the parameters. This is the age. It is an individual age of the person. Chest pain type. It categorizes the nature of chest discomfort experienced including angina which is related to reduced heart blood flow and non-anginal pain providing insight into potential heart disease symptoms. Resting blood pressure. It is a blood pressure measurement taken when individual is at rest. It is recorded in millimeters of mercury. Serum cholesterol. It is a level of cholesterol in the bloodstream and it is measured in milligrams per deciliter. Maximum heart rate achieved. The maximum heart rate achieved in the highest heart rate a person attains during exercise. Old peak ST depression. Old peak is also known as ST depression. It is a measure of extent of depression of ST segment on electrocardiogram during exercise or stress testing. CA number of major vessels. CA or major number of vessels typically refers to the number of major blood vessels that are visibly affected or narrowed by atherosclerosis or other cardiovascular conditions. This is TAL, often referred as thallium stress testing, can indicate the presence of coronary artery disease by evaluating blood flow to the heart during exercise. So now we will enter all these parameters. Age of the person is 52. Chest pain is 125, resting blood pressure is 212 and serum cholesterol in mg deciliters is 168, maximum heart rate achieved is 1, old peak is 2, CA number of major vessels is 3 and the thal is 0 and now we need to click on predict. Here we can see that the person has a heart disease and it is based on the given input provided. And now we will enter other patient details. So the age of the person is 52, chest pain is 0 and resting blood pressure is 140, serum cholesterol is 203, maximum heart rate achieved is 155, old peak value is 31. And the CA number of major vessels is 0 and the TAL value is 3. Now we will click on predict. Based on the given input, it is predicted that the person has no heart disease. In this way, if we give health data which is patient data to the system, then the system will predict whether the person has the heart disease or not. Conclusion of the project. The project successfully enhances the early detection of heart disease through the application of machine learning algorithms and effective feature engineering techniques. This improvement can potentially lead to better patient outcomes and reduced healthcare costs. By employing a variety of machine learning algorithms, the project demonstrates the importance of algorithm diversity in achieving accurate predictions. Different algorithms contribute to a more comprehensive and robust approach to heart disease prediction. The utilization of ensemble methods such as stacking classifier highlights the power of combining predictions of multiple models. 
This approach significantly enhances prediction accuracy, ensuring model more reliable results for users. The integration of the Flask framework provides a user-friendly interface for individuals to input their health data and access predictions securely. This aspect of the project enhances accessibility and usability, making it a valuable tool for healthcare professionals and individuals alike. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.